be well and well met. My name is Kelsey and welcome back to another episode of Rags to Royalty, aka Witchcraft. I think I have fixed the issue of building. So we're gonna just start this off with a little build and upgrade. I'm so excited to make this witchy castle even more of a witchy home. Also, I am so curious to see what your guys' thoughts are about our witch hunter that I introduced last episode. I'm filming this a little ahead, so I won't get to know your guys' thoughts and comments um, until tomorrow, and I'm filming it the day before. But our heart is obviously taken, we're not interested, especially because he's hunting our people. Ah, what's a girl to do? Just, uh, I guess we'll just stay enemies. If you're new here, or maybe if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It is my dream to hit a million subscribers and every new friend counts. So come on into the family. The water's fine. We'd love to have you. All right, let's hop into build mode and see what our options are. Okay. I remember I was trying without much success to add on back here. So let's, uh, we're gonna put that there for now. We got about this far last time. All right, so this could be like our little cheeky bump out kitchen vibe. I think it's fine there. I don't know if we need to go crazy. We're gonna do our historic bricks. And then I was thinking we would do like a cute, obviously paved stone. And then we could do like a big old beautiful door because our girl is, this is, this is gonna get castly. Yes, queen, castle girl. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it looking like this. I'm kind of enjoying it looking more, less medieval castle vibes and more witchy castle vibes. So it could be better to do, we were gonna do a castle state to do these ones instead. Yeah, I think that just looks a little better together, you know? And then we could maybe even see about like adding this like sassy little moment here. Ooh, add it all the way around. Why not? We want this castle looking its best. We gotta make it charming, you know? Pun intended. Ba -da -da. So we've got our cute little outdoor area here. I'm assuming this is kind of where she's gonna like sit and read her books when the day is nice and things like that. But I kind of want her to have like a really beautiful, big, like open door, kind of like this kind of vibe. Why can't I put something here? Oh, it's like where the bed is. Don't worry about that, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna fix that. I mean, we could do something like this or that would be pretty good. That looks nice. And then we might want like, I don't know, some cutie little window moments. Some witchier looking windows could be good. Do like a little dirty, little dirty window moment here. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was looking okay. And then uh, windows on the sides here, we could do something here. Yeah, I think this is good. And we obviously move all the this stuff in here. And th that my friends is a living room added. And I mean, we could delete these. So now we have a little extension on the side. I, on the back, I like it, I like it. We could like even pull it further out, but I don't know if we need to because right now my main goal is kind of switching out a lot of these like deteriorated pieces for kind of more expensive pieces. Making this witch castle a witch home. Am I gonna make it like a little dirty? Maybe. Maybe a little dirty, just for fun. Trade this one out maybe for some of these guys. Be like two of these here. Yeah, loving it. We do like this kind of thing. You know what, I think I like that. The outside's looking good. It's got like a good number of windows, which is a big improvement for us. Let's go inside and see what all these windows have done. Honestly, not too, not too much, not too bad. I think, I think I do want a wall here. I think it'll just make it a little bit more realistic, but also like, more cozy feeling. And then we do kind of just a uh, openings here. And then this this guy can go in here. So this is kind of our live, gonna be our living space now, which is gonna be grand. And then upstairs we have our bedroom. I think I wanna start in the bedroom with the upgrades. I think she deserves it. This poor window is just like not working up here. Maybe we need to make it taller. Honestly, the taller one's working, so that's fine. And I like our bed. I do think we can go better with it. Obviously, we're gonna keep our little guy here, but we're gonna sell that and maybe keep our mirror, I haven't decided. But regardless, let's start with our bed. Maybe she gets this princess bed, it's 12K. Okay, maybe we don't get that bed. Maybe we get a different bed that's really very also nice. 
do love this giant bed. I think at some point we should get this giant bed, but maybe not right now without uh, upgrading the size of this room. We could do this bed, which is like what her bed was, but in a different size. I kind of like that. There you go. We got the same bed, but bigger now. She's upgraded. Okay. And then we have it up against a wall without a window in the back. So I feel like we need to do something to elevate it, make it feel special. Ooh, maybe something like that behind here could be good. We need some lighting. Now we do have this one, but technically we are able to use electric lights now because our girl is a spellcaster. She's added fake lights to her house. Just go with me. So we can, we can do what we want here. Regardless, I do want a side table. Her bed, oh God, it's so hard to see in this room right now. I think I'm gonna add an overhead light and then we're gonna probably delete it at some point because I, I don't like this light, but I think I'm just gonna use it temporarily just to see the colors of all of the furniture so that I can try to match it all. Yeah, these aren't working for me. Let's go back to side tables. That kind of matches, let's go for it. We're gonna go florals with our vibes here and then lighting will do like little lamps, I guess. We could do the cool magic-y looking lamps from Realm of Magic or we could do something like candles like these, but these kind of crystals are really neat. But I worry if someone were to come in the house and they would just see that and she'd be like, ah, you know, I think our girl's gonna play it smart. So maybe we go with like these kind of guys. Let's go for a rug. Ugh, I feel like we're, this is just heaven. I could do whatever I want. I feel like we could do like a little trellis above her bed or even maybe like maybe on the windows. Cause she seems to like plants a lot. She loves gardening. I think it tracks. Yeah, we can put it up above her bed. It, do it does make it look grand, but in like a different type of way, which is fun. This color is fun, kind of matches the bed. Let's go for it. I think we need some sort of like thing, like a wooden piece of something, you know, kind of to fit right in, in the middle there. That's kind of nice. I like that. Oh, this pink and purple color is really cute. I wonder what it looks like sized up. <gasps> Oh, I don't hate it. Oops, no, I don't hate it sized up, but I'm gonna put it back to sized up. Although sized up is kind of nice. Why'd this light turn off? What's the point of you if you're just gonna turn off? Okay, this is starting to look like a cute, cozy castle. Okay, let's put the mirror over here. We've done 99 of a hundred tiles. So we're really on there with the tile. Oh, this little living vase is cute. We put him on the outside in her little outdoor area. Oh my God, how cute is that? Oh, we need a spot for her fish. I suppose maybe we'll bring the fish downstairs. That maybe is a good spot for it down. Oh, it actually fits right in over there. Move this plant over. Boom, the fish gets to live with all the plants. I want to put like a little plant right here just for giggles, you know, just for the, the lulls. Yeah, that looks pretty solid and we can yeah, we can do that color. Okay, our little tower room is made over. Now let's do our balcony. I definitely imagine like flowers spilling over this balcony. So I'm, I want the specific, this flower box here. I think that's good. I'm keeping the grid on just so that I can like kind of see where it's going. I feel like sometimes when you're putting stuff in place atop buildings, it's like easier to make sure it's on the same floor when the grid's on. I don't know, maybe it's just me. There we go. Nice flowers spilling over the sides. Would I love it on all sides? Maybe, but am I gonna do it on all sides? Not right now, too much work. I I think there's like some stone outdoor pieces that we could work with like these, yeah. I think maybe like something like this. I know it's not the coziest thing, but it kind of matches the rest of the vibe of the outdoors. We'll do it like in this kind of darker brown color. It's cute, it's cute. We'll put them kind of maybe back here-ish, I don't know. Or we could just do one. I don't know, these benches aren't quite doing what I want them to do now that they're here. <laughs> Maybe the backless benches. Maybe that's where we're, we're going wrong here. We just do like a little bench, I guess. 
I don't know if I like that as much. Okay, here we go. There's the one from my garden pack or something, the romantic garden pack. Honestly, I think that's pretty good. We're definitely gonna need to add some other little, like maybe like a basket. There is a basket that's full of blankets. There it is, okay. I was like, maybe we put this kind of outside so that it feels a little cozier. And then over here, we obviously need something to cover whatever's going on here. Um, unless we can do that. Okay, yeah, that didn't change anything, sick. But I still feel like this looks awkward. I feel like we could put like a little plant there and a pot, or we could do a little tiny planter here and she could put maybe one of her um, potion ingredients up here so it's a little closer to her. And then we can do some of our gardening objects up here too, right? So we could do, yeah, like that. And then have them make like a little, little stack in the front here. I think that's a, a good enough outdoor area. I don't think we need to go crazy with it. So let's go downstairs and we will upgrade some of these pieces here. My old trick to like get things to light back up while you're working is to put them in your inventory and then put them back out. Normally that works a little better. I might change this out. We've had that little shower it's done us well Ooh, there's like a realm of magic shower i was gonna say i want something to feel kind of realistic to the world that doesn't feel like too nice or too modern i feel like a bath tub actually makes the most sense i mean she doesn't have to use it that much because she's obviously a witch right so maybe we do or we could do the little standing tub shower guy like the this one it's kind of expensive but it is very like fancy i think that actually suits very well maybe we'll put this one in here can we do like an old timey looking toilet then too. Oh, heck yeah, we can. I feel like unfortunately, this also means though that this window's not working over here. Rats, maybe we do it there instead. The problem is then that this side of the house is like two windows and then nothing. So it's like kind of uneven. Maybe we just do like a plant to hide it. Just a cheeky little plant. Nobody's gotta know. Nobody's gotta know. How would they know if we just like hide it with vines and stuff? Too bad this doesn't flip the opposite direction. We're gonna fix that at some point. I'll do the exterior someday, but I don't think today is the day. Now we can go on to the kitchen. I mean, she's not gonna use it, but I would love nothing more than to upgrade these countertops. They're just not it. She deserves better. We can make that happen today. We could do like these ones, but I don't like the marble of them. We could do these ones with Realm of Magic or we could do the classic. I mean, these ones are classic for a reason, you know, they just always suit. They look just so good with everything that I can't not do it. Look how nice that looks now. So much better. Oh, I actually kind of want to put this over here. That looks pretty good. Little stones back here. Part of me wants to see if I can find something I like better for the tables and chairs. <gasps> Oh, this would be kind of cute. Yeah, like a little green. Put a little tablecloth on it. Make it fancy, girl, why not? We could do kind of like a this vibe. Oh, I think I like that. It feels a little witchy, but still like it could exist in a castle. I love that. And we could put like a little flower. That one, perfect. If we get like kind of a weirder looking one. It could kind of look like a witch thing. And then we could put like a little rug if we really, really wanted to put a little rug. Oh yeah, like that one's nice. It looks odd right in front of this door though. So I'm thinking we just keep it simple here. All right, so that's where she's dining. And then we have like a little open area here where we could have a cozy living space. What is this? Could this be a living space for us? No, it's wonderful. We love it. I do feel like we're going with a lot of like greens and reds and browns almost. So this actually kind of is working for me. And then for the couch, it always eludes me like what kind of couch is best for this kind of space because we could go classic little realm of magic moment. It's kind of working for me. Okay, we could do something like this and then we could do little little chairs. We could do these guys. Oh yeah, but these ones I feel like are pretty strong contenders. But this girl deserves like a big cozy reading chair. I'm really going hard in the green. I think it's like all the plants and 
the kitchen. I thought at one point I might be going into the blue. Oh, that blue is so pretty though. And this is kind of blue and green. Okay. I was thinking blue and purple, but now I'm like, this is actually pretty, pretty much a sleigh. Okay. And then we can do some green chairs here. Put them on a little tilt here. Make it, make them cozy. Make them talk to each other. And that way you have a little bit of space around them to walk. And then you here can move back here. I feel like they should move back. You want at least a leg or two legs on the furniture, on the on the rug when you have like a rug in the middle. But I do want to make space for like a little low table in the middle there. So that's not gonna cut it. Maybe we do a really small one for now. I do wish I had room for like a table that's a little more prominent, but is there one from Realm of Magic? There is a little Realm of Magic table. She's funky. She's got a little personality to her. She's looking a little odd. She's just not my favorite. The Realm of Magic items are just mid. I'm sorry. I want to like them, I do, but I, I simply do not. This one would be cute too. All of these feel like a hair too big for the space that we're in. Maybe this one? Could be it. Do like a just a nice little wood vibe. There you go. That's fine. I don't love how tiny this rug is. This rug is too small and it's making me angry. So it's it's gotta be dumped. Apologies. Yeah, we need something bigger like this. Although I do not like this pattern on any of them. Maybe this one might be our Hail Mary kind of situation. Ooh, it's so hard to choose. I'm not like in love with any swatches of any of them. Maybe we just do like a simple, plain, fuzzy rug. No. Why is the rug causing me so much pain and torment? Why is rug always hard? Ooh, that one's okay. Okay, I don't hate that. So if we did like a gold and like kind of a rose color, I can get behind this. It doesn't really match my windows, which is just a shame. I guess I could change the windows. Yeah, we could change the windows. I'm not going to right now, but we could change the windows. Let's put a nice little decor piece on there. And now we have a little area. And over here, we do also have like a little space. Um, ooh, we should do like a fireplace somewhere. Would this be a good fireplace area maybe? Keeping the room nice and warm. I don't know, maybe. And then we could put like a, another cozy chair over here. Big old chair with a blanket kind of thing. Like one of these guys with like kind of this vibe. And then we could do some art on the walls and tapestries or something. I still have 8,000 simoleons, I would like to say. Like this is going swimmingly. <laughs> I can do this all day. This is what we need for like a little secret basement where we keep our, actually maybe we should make a secret basement. Like a cellar, we think it's like a cellar. I don't know how to fake it being a cellar. So if any of you guys have any tips for faking cellars, leave them in the comments. Maybe like a fake little cellar on the outside. And if she like goes down there, it's kind of where all our witch stuff is. Could make sense, could be good. All right, so we'll just do like one of these guys down. Just do another one of these. We already have a cellar down there. That's so funny. She'll be like, that's where I keep my wine, but no one's allowed to go down there but me. And you're like, mm-hmm. We're gonna no longer officially be a tiny home. Tragic. That's crazy, but it's fine. I'm okay with it. We're gonna move this up a couple. Oh man, I think this is where The Sims is gonna decide that we're gonna no longer be able to do anything. It's doing that thing again where it won't let me adjust walls. Please don't tell me that I built for like so long and this game is gonna say no more. I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna come back and hopefully when I see you again, it will have saved. What's up, we're back, baby. The game did crash, so I did have to go back and replace everything, but here's what I changed. I wanna give you guys a cheeky little tour. So here's what it looks like. I think it looks mostly the same. Just ignore that she's bald. I had to remove all of my custom content to check if it was the custom content that is uh, bugging out. And I think it might be. Jury's still out yet, but anyway, 
This is uh, the back of the house as of right now. I added this little bump out. Everything looks pretty much the same as what it did when we last left off. Uh, here's the living room. I did change the color of this chair over here. I thought maybe we would match it to the living room furniture a little better. And yeah, but everything else is, I'm pretty sure about the same. Oh, I didn't add a, a light in here. That changed, I guess. Let's see, maybe like a little, you know, I just need like a cheeky little candle. Just one cheeky candle. Or we could do this, I suppose, but I don't really want to do that. I guess we could do kind of a little light on the back wall here. That kind of would be cute, actually. Let's do that. Yeah, let's put one of these in here. So this is the, so the bathroom's a little dim, but it's still working. And this whole area is looking fab, obviously. My custom content's gone, so all the plants are gone, but we, it's, it's an issue we can fix in the future. As you can see, we have this little back area. This door will be locked to anyone who's not in my household. Then we go down these stairs and we enter into the wine cellar, AKA where she does her magic. I would love again to give her an outdoor environment to do magic, but right now we're keeping it hidden. I'm thinking candelabras. I feel like that's the move. There's also the magical ones, which are kind of cute. Maybe we do some magical candelabras around the room, give it a little ambiance. We can add another storage rack or two, maybe some like wine barrels. So there will be wine down here. We'll put like a little juice barrel next to it. So there's like kind of our juice stuff, but this is the main event obviously is our magic. So we need a cauldron. Oh, we can have like the very expensive one. I think we'll go with the like more everyday cauldron, but this is where she's gonna go to try to sort out her uh, magic. I love this floor piece. I think it's so neat. It will kind of go outside. So we're gonna size it down. Oh, it's so neat. I feel like it's very witchy. It does take up the majority of the room, but we could make the room like a smidgen bigger. There you go. That way it can sit in the middle here. It's very dark in here, which is, is fine, but I feel as though we're gonna need some more lighting down here because I cannot see a thing. So we're going to once again, put like a light in the ceiling and then I'm gonna change it later. You gotta see if all the stuff is matching, which so far it is, but this was not. So glad we're in here. This is so cool, but part of me thinks that it's cooler without. I kind of wanted it just in a different color, you know? Like, I wish it wasn't just like white. I want it to be more like blue or something. A little book cases, bookshelves down here, or this one could be here. These are cute. I think this makes sense. Maybe do like this kind of thing. We can do the lights on either side, make it fancy. And then I feel like here, oh, maybe like one of these low desks kind of thing, or maybe this kind of thing where we have some sort of object. Yeah, you know, just our, our so little supplies. Yeah, these would be up down here. We have them upstairs as well, but so maybe they look a little different down here. Also, now that we're down here, I feel like we should change the color of these to match. We also should do some more horse ranch stuff. This little cask, that's so cute. It's where she like puts together her wine. So I love how like kind of old and detached this is, but these don't look like that. They look like so brand new. The gray ones might be okay. Yeah, the grays I guess I'll match. So maybe let's go in the gray direction. Hmm, what other magical items and discoveries should we have? Ooh, we could do like a big old fireplace kind of thing down here. We could do a cozy little area here. We could do, I know there is like a, oh, it's like a crystal thing. Oh, we're running out of money. So that's going to minimize what we can do. <laughs> we can have some plants that she looks like she's growing for the stuff. I think that makes sense. We just like put down some big old planter things down here. Yeah, that one matches the theme over here quite beautifully. Could do some stuff hanging or like wall decorations. Yeah, like right there, there you go. Okay, and then maybe like a nice cozy little chair to sit while you work. I don't know. I don't hate that. I feel like then you need kind of something next to it. Maybe like a little lamp or something like this even would be cute. Maybe like an experience. 
expensive one of these guys. We'll just do the dark one. Actually, we'll put that over here. Yeah, I don't know what to put with you. This is hard. Why is it so hard to make decisions? I don't know. Maybe this will just be a work in progress down here. We're gonna like, take our time with it. But our girl is working away during her, in her new wine slash not wine room. Oh, there's like an antique nectar press. That's kind of cute to include over here. Yeah, ooh, it almost looks witchy too. Ooh, some nectar crates we can put over here. Just mix it all together. But yeah, I love that on this side, it's kind of nectar themed. And on the other side, it's like not. I think I like the lighter colors though over here. All right, now we need to decide upon this light in this room. I think, and say it with me, I'm going to choose this one. It just always looks so solid and I can't, I, can't, I just can't bring myself to choose anything else. It's just such a good choice. It's a good all around object, keeps everything looking fine and fancy free. And in the, in this mode, we can always like make it a different cutler. Like we could make it like purple down here. Ooh, or like blue or green. I think I like the purple. So there you have it. There's our underground kind of witch bunker where our cursed girl can go. I love the bit of the purples coming out. Oh, that's so sick in that back room. So good. Obviously our girl Briar has no hair. We will fix her hair issue. But look at this cozy abode that she has on a rainy day, her cozy bedroom room and her new little balcony there she can calmly read her books this witch castle is coming along and i am certainly very proud of it did it take me an entire episode just to make over the castle yes but hopefully our next time we make over this castle it will uh, be a little bit shorter because there'll be less to do but i'm pretty proud of what we accomplished i think this is a very nicely upgraded she earned it we really went from rags to royalty in this episode and uh, sky's the limit we're gonna be making all of this area bigger make her bedroom bigger just bigger and better overall maybe make a fancy entryway and like a staircase who knows things are going well for now that might not last since there's a witch hunter on the hunt so we'll see more about that in the next episode leave me all your thoughts in the comments as usual and until next time i'll see you on the internet very soon bye